Tapping in, tapping in. How y'all doing today? Let's have a, uh, some Bible edifications, Bible reading. Today we're going to read Romans 12. And it says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, that the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So let's read down to three through five right quick. It says, For I say for I say through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. But to think soberly, according as God had dealt to every man the measure of faith. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office. So, you know, it, it, there's many um, religions out there, uh, but that don't make us have make us in one body in Christ, you know. But keeping his law and um, keeping his commandments is, and being on the same, having the same mindset makes us have that one body in Yahweh Shah. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office, so we, being many, are one body in Christ, and every one member one of another. So us being in, like I said, you know, having that one mindset, having that, keeping those commandments, keeping the, uh, that puts us in the body of Yahweh Shai. That puts us in that righteous state, you know. Let's read uh, 1 Corinthians 10. Let's go to 1 Corinthians real quick. Go to 1 Corinthians 10. And, uh, let's go to 10 through, let's read 10 through 6. 17 I'm gonna go 10 through 17 it says neither murmur neither murmur ye as some of them also murmured and were destroyed of the destroyer now all these things happen unto them for end samples and they are written for our admonition upon whom the ends of the world are come wherefore let him that think he standeth, take heed lest he fall. There had no temptation taken you, but such as a coming to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. But with the temptation also may have to escape that ye may be able to bear it. You know, so the Lord's not going to put nothing on us that we can't bear. You know, uh, let's go down to 14. It says, Wherefore, my dearly beloved, flee from idolatry. I speak as the wise man. Judge ye what I say. The cup of blessings which we bless, is it not the communion? Of the blood of Christ or Yahusha. The bread which we break, is it not the communion of the body of Christ? For we being many are one bread and one body. For we are all partakers of that one bread. You see? And that one bread is that doctrine. So we are one body. Through the bread, which the bread represents the word, and that's what put us in one body in Christ. So, when we on the different doctrines, you know, and different teachers, and nobody's teaching the commandments, that don't put us in that one body of the Most High. You see. So I wanted to share that with you guys this morning. I appreciate the um, support.
I appreciate the likes, the share. Shout out to my new subscribers. Um, let's keep seeking this truth, y'all. Each one, teach one. And uh, let's try our best to keep these commandments so that we can be in that one body in Christ. You know, like he said, um, we are partakers of that one bread. You see? So, thank you all again. I'll be back with the next one. Peace.